Breckenridge cancels today's Mardi Gras parade, but the good times roll on for Fat Tuesday. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, another day, another set of avalanches on I-70. Avalanche mitigation today at Herman's Gulch, just outside the tunnels, was scheduled to last a half hour, but took more than one hour when slides released by CDOT stepped onto the interstate. This comes two days after a pair of major slides swept onto I-70 at Officer's Gulch, shrouding cars in snow. Several smaller slides hit the same area yesterday, and Breckenridge Ski Patrol was blasting ridgelines from peak 6 to peak 8. A solo skier was killed by a pair of avalanches Sunday at Lizard Head Pass outside of Telluride when two slopes released, trapping and carrying the man 400 vertical feet. The man's name has not been released. This is the sixth avalanche death of the season and 19th skier death overall. That Tuesday has arrived. In spirit, at least, Breckenridge canceled its annual Mardi Gras parade today due to heavy snow over the weekend. The Riverwalk Center also canceled tonight's concert with Hazel Miller due to flooding at the venue. Flooding there is extensive, leaving inches of wastewater backstage. Events this March and into April have been canceled, including the Milk Carton Kids this Thursday. Breck's decision has some locals angry, like one commenter on the Summit Daily Facebook saying, you think if it was Ullerfest, they would cancel that? Another says, toughen up. Others question if snow is the real reason, while one man had a solution. Go drink on Main Street anyway. At Keystone, Fat Tuesday is in full effect, starting at 2.30 p.m. Gumbo tasting tickets are $15 for adults and $8 for kids. Free music with Chris Daniels and the King starts at 3.30 p.m. in River Run Village. Richard Miller, one of two people charged with sparking the Lake Christine fire outside Basalt this past summer, was rescued over the weekend while skiing the backcountry outside Aspen Highlands. This from the Aspen Times, Miller got separated from his ski partners and rescuers spent eight hours getting him back to safety. The 23-year-old is charged with three counts of felony arson for a fire that destroyed three structures and threatened thousands more, burning 12,500 acres. Authorities believe he sparked the fire during a fire ban with tracer rounds at a local shooting range. He is currently out on bond. Avalanche danger is considerable today in Summit and Eagle Counties. You have two problems, persistent slab on all elevations and aspects, and wind slab on north through south aspects. Easterly slopes are especially dangerous after heavy wind loading. In sports, the Nuggets lost to the Spurs last night 104-103. to Tonight, the Avalanche play the Red Wings at 7. In World Cup ski racing news, Michaela Schifrin is overall World Cup champion for a third year running, becoming just the third American to claim three consecutive titles behind Phil Mayer and Lindsey Vaughn. World Cup women aren't done racing yet. They're off until Friday for giant slalom in the Czech Republic. Men race again Saturday in Slovenia. And in local sports, brought to you by Deep Water Mountain, Inc., winter sports season is finished at Summit High School. Spring sports get started this Friday and Saturday. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.